your PSON. I'm on third month, Thursday, 19 February. I'm born in Bolton, Mississippi, B O L T O N, to free the house and pick up your house. I was the fifth child, the fifth boy. Raised born with two girls. You didn't have no left. left. That's the light, only light you had. We were on a farm. We were farmer. Because I went to a two room school. Child walking in a little town. Be the white woman, you gotta get, get off the street, let them pay. You had to go in the back door. You had to go back on the bus. You got a black thing in the middle. You white, both white folks get on, you had to get back, you go back to the back, back stand up like a cow. 20 years old, I left that. Left that view tied to the tree, still that way. We had to share crop the main part of everything. Mules and all the things. Rent, you carry your own mules and horses. Right. You rent the land. First, first load of corn, first bell of kite go to the man. Well, that's what you call rent. The sharecroppers don't do that. Well, he use all the man stuff. He tell you what you made. Most times say you broke evil. My uncle was 11 bell of kite. The man told me he broke evil. And he left him plowing another mule. That's sharecropper. Two or two were old. When they, when they were in the army, they stepped in the trucks hold everything together. That's where the civil rights type of marching. If you just sleep with them in the army, they all kept in the same bunk room, the fox hole. You come back, you like, you like, go back to where you were? No, that's where the civil rights started. I raided some land, I raised some corn. I had a man come by the corn. I got $85 in 1950. That, that was a lot of money. My car, my train fare was worth $22. You know, you go to the city and the yard, at that time they would run twice a day from the yard to Chicago, twice a day. I called it 11 o'clock that day, called the city and the yard. That was the name of the train. I called it in 1950, 11 o'clock, in Jackson, Mississippi, Chicago. Now they don't have no city in the yard. What is the name of the night? M-Train? Uh, Mississippi, 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 We stayed in the community there. There was still some Caucasian living in the, in the area when we stayed there. But you know, uh, as things went on, they, they uh, vanished, you know, they white flight. But you can get a job on any corner. You went to the doctor, even the steel building. They called it Dayway. They had places all over Chicago. They paid the same day. I worked uh, downtown. I had a place called Whipper Grill. Yeah, that there we did play a chicken place called Polo Produce. I worked there 14 years. I didn't make $2 out. People had money back then. Yeah. And they had nice buildings, nice homes. Married at four kids. And my dad said, you can't make it in Chicago, boy. You're too slow. Said, I'm going to steal up and slow. I ain't left Chicago yet. I moved here at night. I was 20 years old. Yeah, yeah, I, I was walking there. Yeah, I can remember it. I was going to visit him. I got off at 11 o'clock, turned to, on the roadway back to Roosevelt to kill it with the Duckley Boulevard. I turned red at the time of living at 32, 12, what do? I took it, turned it in, and run up in that snow. The next morning was nothing moving. CTA wasn't moving. Mailman, I was waiting on a little check. Hard time, didn't nothing come. 
The mail man, you wouldn't run. The CTA wouldn't run. No, it was up to my chest. <laughs> yeah, it was. I waved through it. I know how it took me to walk all the way from, from, from to 59th Street over to your house. It was up to your chest, yeah. It was. I remember it was, how it, it was. was. It was that how I was short then. I'm really short. <laughs> Wouldn't nothing run. Wouldn't nothing run. Wouldn't nothing run. Wouldn't nothing run. CTA, post office, nothing run. I would get a little small check when I work in part of clean office. The mailman then wouldn't run. I ain't got nothing to eat for my four kids. Yeah, that was a blessing. That was a blessing of 67. Yeah. His daddy opened the door. He said, you is in love. <laughs> <laughs>